In this problem, we have five unit squares. That means each of their side lengths is one, and this fifth square on the right is exactly halfway down the other two squares, so the distance marked here is one half. And we want to know what is the radius of the circle. This is a challenging question because we don't know where the center of the circle is, but we do know by the symmetry that it must be somewhere on this middle line. So if we mark the center of the circle as being somewhere on this edge, then there are only really two sensible places we can draw a radius in. We can draw two radii here from the corner of the left square and the corner of the right square to the center of the circle. By Pythagoras' theorem on the first triangle, we have one squared plus x squared equals r squared. And by Pythagoras' theorem on the second triangle here, we have r squared equals a half squared plus y squared. So we can eliminate the r squared and just say that one plus x squared equals one half squared plus y squared. One half squared is one quarter, so doing a little bit of rearrangement, we get three quarters equals y squared minus x squared. We also know that x and y together are just as long as three unit squares, so we have another equation linking x and y, which is just x plus y equals three. Using the famous difference of two squares formula, we can rewrite y squared minus x squared as y minus x times y plus x, and y plus x is just the same as x plus y, so I can replace x plus y just with three from our second equation. Dividing both sides by three, we have a quarter equals y minus x. As a result, we get a pair of linear simultaneous equations for x and y, which are now quite easy to solve. You can do this in a variety of ways, but one way is just to add the two equations together. That would give us three and a quarter equals two y, and the x and the minus x would cancel out. Now three and a quarter is 13 over four, so we can write 2y equals 13 over four and y equals 13 over eight. You could solve the original problem without working out x here now, but we could also get x easily by subtracting the first equation from the second, and that would give us two and three quarters equals two x, and two and three quarters is 11 over four, so two x is 11 over four and x equals 11 over eight. At this point, we realize we can go back using either x or y to apply Pythagoras and just find the radius. We'll use x here, so Pythagoras theorem would tell us that one squared plus x squared equals r squared. So we've got r squared equals one squared plus 11 over eight squared. That is uh, one plus 121 over 64, or 64 over 64 plus 121 over 64. That gives us 185 over 64. And so the radius is the square root of that, which is the square root of 185 over eight.